Well, good morning, all of my beautiful sunshiny friends. How are we today? Uh, I am just getting ready for work and I wanted to jump on and say hi to you guys and just talk really quick. Sorry, I'm a little stuffy. I don't know if there's like something blooming. My allergies, I think. I don't think I'm getting sick. I keep kind of debating on if I'm getting sick or not. Um, But all night last night, it was fine. I wake up and now... I can't stop sneezing. My nose is driving me crazy. <clears throat> but anyway, how are we? Welcome. Good morning, everybody. I am Cheryl. Welcome to my channel. We are on a weight loss journey, um, lifestyle modification, I like to call it. Just trying to change all of those bad habits as we're trying to get healthy, lose weight do all the things. So I'm getting ready for work here on this beautiful fall morning. Um, this is one of the shirts that I got in my recent thrifting haul. And I thought it was really cute, but it's too big. And I know all day I'm going to be doing this. I thought it was big when I tried it on, but I don't know. We'll see how long it lasts. I, maybe I can take it in. I'm wondering if I can do that. Maybe I'll work on that tonight when I come home. Maybe I can actually take it in a little bit because I don't have a lot of like this color and I have like a pair of blue pants on and I thought it was different because I wear so much black and gray and um, like hunter green. But anyway, so excuse my sniffles, excuse my big shirt as we just sit here and talk and hang out. So I wanted to talk to you guys today about something that's kind of been bothering me and it's so stupid but I wanted to see if I was not alone here so I've been on this oh that's not good sorry been on this journey for eight months now and it's been amazing it's been fantastic um we've lost almost 50 pounds hoping to report to you guys by the end of the week that we finally hit that mark but hey it'll happen when it happens so i began this journey back in february and it was tough in the beginning i felt like i i was doing great like it's the weight started coming off pretty quickly um and within that first month you know i lost 10 pounds and then i think i don't know i'd have to go back and see exactly like what the numbers were but i know you know, I lost immediately and you're doing all this hard work and everything and nobody was really noticing, which was like a real bummer. And then when people did start to notice, it definitely helped put um, a little bit of validation into everything that we're doing here, right? But I don't know about you guys. Do you guys have any specific person or a couple of people that you like or you even love that you're close to? But when they make a comment, for some reason, it kind of just irks you. I don't know why. But there's a couple of specific people, um, someone that I'm very close to. And now that she knows, whenever she says something, it just bothers me. And I think it's because both of these two people are extremely critical of like everything. You know, they're the type of people that they're, they know better than everybody or their opinion matters more, or everything that they do is the best way to do it. You know what I mean? And again, I'm not, I'm not saying this like in a bad critical way, because I'm just trying to more talk it out because it's been bothering me and I don't know why I'm letting it bother me. I know how these people are. They've always been this way. It's, you know, everybody has their own personality quirks, I guess you might say, you know, things that make them them, things that we can't really change. And with 
both of these people, it just kind of, it is what it is. And both of them, when they started noticing, you know, kind of asked like, did you lose weight? What have you been doing? And you guys know I've been extremely honest. I have not um, fibbed or fudged the truth with anybody because if I can help anybody, I I want to, and I'm not gonna lie about what I'm doing. That's just not what I'm about. So I have been very honest. And instead of just being loving and supportive and being like, I'm so happy for you, congratulations, you look great, I get, um, it's about time or um, keep doing what you're doing, keep losing weight. Like these types of comments, I'm just like blown away by. I saw one last week and she was like, you look really good, keep it up, make sure you keep doing it. And I was like, okay, great. I'm still not good enough for you, but thanks for reminding me. Um, so I'm just curious if anybody else has run into this. Another one isn't as critical in that manner. And she never was before. Like, you know, I'm sure that she'd mentioned, um, you know, you sh I don't want to say she said you should lose weight, but like, you know, if you lost a couple of pounds, you'd be happier or healthier or, you know, those types of little comments. And these are both older women. Um, but one of them will now text me continuously um, asking, you know, like, what did you eat? Are you making good choices? Make sure you're staying on your healthy plan. Like, and it just pisses me off. And I don't, it's not something I'm going to get into something with. That's why I have you guys. But I'm just kind of curious. Do any of you guys have that one person or a couple of people that when they do ask or make comments or anything, does it just irk you? And are some of those comments maybe a little double-handed like I mean who the heck tells somebody oh you lost weight you look great keep losing weight because you're still not good enough <laughs> I mean and those weren't the words but that's that's definitely the feeling you know that I'm getting and I'm just like what the heck like is anything ever going to be good enough for you it's it's a lot so I'm just curious does anyone else have these people in their life that have been kind of part of their journey thus far. And if so, how are you handling it? Um, because I'm trying really hard to just be like, you know, that's their personality. That's who they are. Um, I can't change it, but one of them, like it's all they want to talk about. You know what I mean? Like my meal plan, what I'm eating, and it's just, I try to change the subject even. Like some people will ask me like, oh my God, you look great. What are you doing? And I could sit there for an hour and tell them all about the journey and all about like everything. But these other two, literally, I change the subject immediately. Like I don't want to, and I don't know. I don't know why, and I don't really know what to do about it. Because like I said, it's not something that I want to get into a thing about. It's not people. One of them is super, super close to me. Um, the other isn't somebody that I can avoid. So like I do have to be around this person. Um, I don't know. Is anybody else experiencing anything similar? Um, in case anybody cares, I put double-sided um, glue dots inside. So hopefully we'll make it through the day. And... Um, yeah, I'm hoping that my shirt stays where it's supposed to stay. And I moved my necklace up so that I am ready for my work day. It is 7.10. I've got about five-ish minutes before I've got to head out to work. So I just cut up some strawberries to put in my yogurt, made my protein coffee, got my water ready, really trying to stay on my water situation. Um, and happy Halloween, everybody. So I'm 
thinking this is going to be a Halloween video. If it's not, I hope you had a great Halloween. Um, but I'm thinking this is probably going to be Halloween. So to all of you, happy Halloween. Um, this, I was going to say like, you know, Halloween's going to be a tricky one, but it's really not. Um, they, we can't trick or treat anywhere near us. There's, you guys saw my walking video. Um, roads are very narrow. Houses are very far apart. There's no street lights where we live. So it's not safe to trick or treat here. So kids would always like, when I was a kid, we would have to go actually into Rhode Island. We would go to my Baboa's house where it's like a neighborhood. And there's like a couple of neighborhoody areas in town that like a lot of kids will go to. Um, mine isn't one of them. So I won't get any trick-or-treaters, never had a trick-or-treater in 20 years. And my son doesn't trick-or-treat anymore. He was never a big fan of Halloween. Um, and even like my grandson lives in Connecticut. So unfortunately I won't see him. So I have no candy in the house and I won't be buying any. So that's great for me. I might like go get my son like a treat because, um, you know, it's Halloween and he won't be doing any of that. But um, yeah, so happy Halloween, everybody. I hope everybody fares well with all of the extra goodies and treats in the household. Um, I have to say, I'm pretty proud of myself. I have been doing well. So the secretary that I work with, um, she's a terrible influence and she's got a thing of candy on her desk. And I maybe eat, and they're like little, you know, minis, like maybe I'll eat one a week or so where... Um, you know, some people are eating one every five minutes. So I am pretty proud of myself. I think if that had been a year ago, I would be like waiting for people not to be looking and like grabbing it constantly. But I don't. It does help that like our desks are like side by side and our computers are in front of us. So we kind of like face each other this way. So I would have to get up, walk around my desk to the other side to go to the front of her desk to get a piece. Um, and I just don't want to do that. Because that extra is like reminding me, you know, that what I'm actually doing. So I have been really good with that. So it's just one more thing that Zepbound is helping me with. If I could just let it help me and not care what people think as much. And I have to say I am getting better with that. But um, yeah, I just wanted to check in with you guys. That was just something that I've been thinking about trying to figure out like how to approach or if I should just let it go or what the case may be. So yeah, I think I'm going to head off to work now. It was wonderful spending my morning with you guys. I love to start my day with all of you. I thank you all so much for being here. If you are new, I would love it if you would go and hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video at all, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help me out a little bit. Um, have a fantabulous day. Happy Halloween, everybody. And remember, friends, when you can't find the sunshine, be the sunshine. Bye.